Okay, so in this video what we're going to look at is the various themes that you can have on WordPress. So the standard theme that you usually see is this one. And if you want to change that, then you need to go into the, click on the appearance section over there on the left. And this will show you the, the standard theme there. So if we firstly just look at modifying this particular theme, so if you go into the widgets, now the widgets are the things that actually appear on the left hand side, uh, sorry the right hand side, so over here where it says recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, meta. Now if you don't want any of those to appear, then when you go into this, when you've clicked on the, the widget section like we did before, then over here on the right is where all these widgets are. So if you don't want them there anymore, all you need to do is just move them out of there like that. So just click on them and remove them down here to the inactive widgets. So maybe you want to keep those ones but remove those or whatever you want to do and then if you want to put other widgets in there then you can just have a look over here and go okay well maybe I want to have an RSS feed so I'll just move that one over into there. So it's very simple um, and when we go through looking at the, the plugins there's a whole lot of plugins that you can upload to WordPress and then what you find is that you can then move them over onto the right hand side there into the widget areas. Now one of the widgets you can see here says custom menu and what we're going to do now is go back over to the appearance section over here on the left, click on menus and at the moment obviously the only pages we've got in there are the home and about page but just imagine you had you know 30 different pages in there and you wanted to create um, say a custom menu that had sort of your top 10 pages on it. You would then enter the name of your menu in there, create the menu, and I'll put in a menu is called Fred, and then it allows you to click on whichever page you want, and you can add that to the menu. So now you've got the home page appearing in, in your menu. Then all you'd need to do is go back to the widgets. Sorry, we need to... Save the menu. Go back to widgets. And you can move the custom menu we up the top, save that, and then if we go back to the to our site, refresh the page, we'll see that we've now got a custom menu there with home on it. Now you can put a heading on the custom menu as well, or call it whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now we'll have a look at the background. So at the moment, the background of the site is kind of like a, a grey colour. So if you wanted to change the colour, then that's where you would change it in here, select a colour, put that in there, or you can upload an image. And then that's the same thing with the header. If you click on the header on the left hand side there, then you'll see that at the moment it's got the lovely image with the trees, but you can also click on any of these, so we might decide and say we want a sunset, um, and when we save the page that will now be saved there. Otherwise, if you want to upload your own image for the header, you can do that as long as the image is 940 by 198, then it will fit exactly there. So now I've saved that header image, and if we go back to the previous site, back to the actual site, click on refresh, and you can see it now has a different image in there. 